Okay, last time we finished at this point. This is the last step before just press install and everything will go smoothly. This is enough for us to work with the sample data. But one problem is that part, you know. This is what is just file name. And we don't want to have it this way. We'd like to have something like the block English when when we hover over we've got some info additional information. To do so we need to edit one file and it of course will be ready for the translation as well. This file is in our demo installation language en gb that one. I have already opened it in my text editor and we need to scroll down to line about a hundred when we've got all this install sample block set. Uh, this is just constructed quite easily. We've got install prefix set suffix and if we have a look we've got here this is our stuff exactly install sample data qs which is basically file name but capitalized and a description i put a gb just to indicate what kind of language we are using this is just to display it when we want to just description we need to just scroll down and put additional line like here Ansel prefix sample data qs set which is basically the same like in the line 100 and description and then we just put a description on this if we save it go back to our installation director refresh it unfortunately we need to put password again next database next and we've got our quick start sample data GB and quick start Joomla and Gantry full set with all our sample data. You have to agree that this looks much better than previously but by default sample data none is selected. We don't want actually the user to make this mistake and go for all this installation without any data. We of course could just get rid of all these other things and just leave our data. But I like to give the user the, the choice. To do so we need to edit another file. Another file is installation localized XML. I've got it here. And in this place we need to put the file name which is sample data qs dot sql and save it unfortunately we need to refresh it again put admin password As you can see, this is selected by default. Now, the moment of truth. Just click install and we are doing everything from scratches. Please remember that in previous video I decided to keep two additional users, which is one fake dodgy admin, another one is TKSD user. TKSD user is just to show user block. That's it. And dodgy admin is. I keep it to show you what can happen if we just leave some backdoors. Yep, we remove it. We are going to see our site, which is here. Lovely. Everything what we need. This is the 
user block. This is the why I decide to keep that TK as the user. But <coughs> let's have a look. how it works. Admin, this is a user we created during the installation. Yep, and the users. And we see you've got the admin, and your admin. Okay, let's log out. Definitely, our quick start package works. Now we are login as a Doji admin. Really don't want it to happen. That's it. Here we are. Just a few seconds after the proper admin, we've got a Doji admin. And what Doji admin can do, can do that kind of thing. Activated is okay. Disable. Fine. Log out. Oops. This is what can happen. And the dodgy admin can do whatever. <coughs> 